Sandy here with Radiant Art Inspirations. If you're new, this channel is all about easy, fun, fast. Base paint tutorials every single week. Today we're going to be creating a very vibrant and easy fox. A lot of the times when artists create foxes, they do look very similar to cats or to wolves. So in this design, we'll make sure that it is as distinct as possible. So that if someone from far away sees the fox, they know exactly what it is. In the upcoming week, we're going to be creating a Q&A session. We've been getting a lot of questions on who we are, a little bit of background information, and all that kind of fun stuff. If you have any questions that you want us to answer, please let us know in the comments below or on our Instagram or Facebook. We would love to answer all the questions that you have. We do want to say thank you for the ones that have already asked their questions and we're so excited. But if you don't care, then you don't have to do it. You don't have to watch it. We are gonna go from this to this. Let's get started. First, with a sponge, you use white to create the inner corner of the ear and the muzzle. When sponging the muzzle, also sponge the tip of the nose. With another sponge, mix neon orange with prime orange to create the base of your fox. Sponge the bridge of the nose, inside of the eye, around the cheek, and a little bit of the ear. Once that is done, do the exact same on the other side. Then, with another sponge, use red and orange to create a little more depth to your fox, adding it to the top of the forehead and on each side of the cheek. If you like, you can also add this color to the eyelids to create eyeshadow, but it's optional. With the same brush that you use to sponge the ears in white, go ahead and sponge the outer area of the cheeks as well. Foxes do have a slight white area on the outside of the face, so that's what we are alluding to. Then with a number four brush, create a very soft, cute looking small nose. And then with a number one or number two brush, create the line for the inner muzzle, which is a backwards teardrop or just a line. And then create a small little triangle on the base lip. this channel I see you watching this channel and you're not subscribed I see you watching this channel and you didn't even put a like you should like this channel you should subscribe to this channel and learn easy fun fast tutorials every single week okay now for the muzzle get a number one or number two brush and very lightly outline the muzzle Make sure that it stops where the nostrils are. After, create the inner stripes for the muzzle. Here is how you do it. With a number one or number two brush, you're gonna just slightly start on the outside of the muzzle and sweep like a teardrop. This next step is optional. With your brush, paint eyeliner and then a small line under the eye. Foxes naturally have eyeliner, so it does make it look more realistic, but again, it is optional. You are almost done. Now it is time to outline your fox. With a number one or number two brush, begin to lightly outline it with a little bit of fuzz around the ears. In order to create this fuzzy look on the ears, you just lightly wiggle your brush and kind of just wing it. Don't overthink it. and do the exact same technique for the forehead. Create the cheeks. So you're gonna do a backwards 
looking for a thing compared to the other videos that we do, you're going to start up and come down instead of going down all the way to the muzzle. To me, it reminds me of those circle saws that cut wood. This is a one half feather shaped brush that really gives a nice look of fur and it's really easy and fast to use. It's a lot faster than doing getting a number one brush and drawing each line individually. This one you just do it with one stroke and you still get that free look that we're going to be using in our design today for the fox. Um, I've actually never, I've never seen this brush before. It's in the Protégé kit that you can get off of Amazon. Um, we are not sponsored by Protégé, but we really, really do like their product and this brush is very unique. Maybe you've seen it before and you're like, what, what is this garbage? That's exactly what I thought and I regretted it because this brush is actually really cool to add that furry look and give it that extra pop that only takes seconds to do. And so with that brush, we're going to create the little black parts on the tips of the ears. With a number four brush, or whatever brush that is appropriate, paint the bottom lip in red or black. Lastly, with a number one brush, highlight your design in white. Yay, you're all done. Give yourself in this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you never miss a video. See you guys next week. Bye-bye.